the market had a correction recently and in that correction if you see some traders didn't get affected by it or some traders made money in that correction and there were traders who had big losses or who were completely caught unguarded by this now if you're one of the second kind of a trader there's a lot of learning which happens during this kind of corrections when i was a tra trader starting out many years ago uh, first couple of years i had no clue what was happening and i was not in control of my trading and a correction like this would lead me to have a big drawdown while in this correction i have had very good uh, money i made in this particular correction and the reason being that i understand now how market corrects or why they corrects or like how the dynamics uh, are going to be of a correction uh, so every time you have a setback you need to sit and understand and learn from that correction and then take remedial action so that next time you don't want to get caught in a correction like this if your objective is to make money for 10 years 15 20 25 years the sooner you can learn from things and put in the guardrails to not again get into those kind of situation yeah better it is uh, you don't want to make the same mistake again so one of the things which you can learn from this correction is that it's very important to develop a skill called situational awareness situational awareness is essentially your ability to find out what is happening in the market and then accordingly decide whether you want to be long short do you want to be aggressive do you want to be defensive do you want to protect money and all of those things now for me when i went through some of these corrections i developed a tool called market monitor which allows me to time these kind of corrections or understand when this kind of correction is going to happen and if you look at this tool you will see that it is like basically you, you could see that uh, there was a selling which was coming into the market right and there was a selling coming into the market and as a result i quickly changed my tactics and as a result i quickly went into a mode of short term trading looking at things similarly if you look at this particular thing uh, in 2021 which i'll show you just in a minute uh, you will see that there were selling which had started and throughout 2021 you, if you look at it you're going to see that there are a lot of periods when there was uh, no clear trend and as a result you had to change your tactics uh, you, you could not like and i hope for swings to work for a couple of weeks or a couple of months kind of a thing your positions were not working so you had to adapt your tra trading technology technique to this particular kind of market environment so let me just show you the other page on this where 2021 data is which will give you a good understanding of what was happening in the market so now let's look at 2021 this is a 2021 data you see when you look at like and you know, these there was selling coming in here there was a selling big selling which happened in uh, october or in november and as a result the market was weakening the market was weakening and you could see as a result you could change your tactics and that is what we started and then just before christmas uh, one of the things which we anticipated was there was likely to be a rally of a couple of days and that's what happened and after that the market started selling off but if you look at the entire 2021 year you will see that there are not many periods when you had back to back continuous buying coming in you had like in a two weeks buying two weeks uh, no buying and the same thing you'll see if you see on the indexes like two weeks buying coming in then selling comes in few weeks or few days selling comes in as a result it was difficult month year for many traders because they didn't have tools to figure out what was happening and they were trading same as what they were trading earlier while the buying in this year was coming in in just spurts and they were selling interspace between this and the same thing you can see if you look at something like spy or if you look at there are not many rallies which are continuous rallies there are continuous sell-offs and the rallies itself would last for a couple of weeks so your ability to find longer duration trade was restricted and that's why you will see that traders who made money last year were more hit and run tactical holding uh, positions for a shorter period of time kind of a thing okay so that's one thing which you need to understand which is a skill called situational awareness and different people have different situational awareness model the these kind of models 
allow them to sit out certain periods or be aggressive in certain periods or to anticipate turns in market and accordingly decide what kind of setup they are going to prioritize, right? In the last uh, two weeks or three weeks since the beginning of the year, if you are trading a short setup, it was very easy to trade because you're on the right side of the market. So I was trading short or I was trading intraday and they were working, right? And as you see today, there's a reversal which has happened in the market. So uh, the market is different, right? And basically, and different kind of setups will work. So you have to change the tactics accordingly. So learn to have situational awareness. Situational awareness will help you in calibrating your performance. It will help you in reducing your drawdowns and it will help you in terms of tactically changing your emphasis on setup. The second thing which you can learn from a correction like this, especially for those of you who had big drawdowns is, uh, you need to look at your trading style and the, your holding periods and take a call on going forward. Do I want to be trading the same way? Do I want to make changes? to my trading style, right? And I used to earlier look for longer term, longer duration moves. Uh, having sat through some of these corrections and giving up a lot of money, I changed my style to more swing trading kind of a thing, looking for three to five days uh, kind of swings. And this is one of the decisions, once you make that decision based on your understanding of the market, understanding of your own personality, can help you in the longer run avoiding drawdowns. The other thing which you have to understand is your trading time frame. Because if you are trading really ultra long term, it doesn't matter. But if you are trading, uh, say, a month duration kind of a thing and you're still holding this, this correction, then you'll have a lot of problems. So trading time frame, it is always good whenever you under, have a drawdown to think through these issues and refocus and re change some of these things and then come out with a plan. The next thing, a lot of people, I talk to a lot of tr traders and investors and a lot of people are, are into growth investing and they were the people who support big losses because they were in some of the stocks which are big growth stocks uh, like if you see uh, UPST or many of the, I'm just taking UPST as an example and this stock is down 79% or 80%. Now, there, this is very common in growth stocks. Now, if you're one of these growth investor and many people started trading only in last one year or two years or they don't have enough experience, this particular cycle must have taught you something about growth stocks and take that into consideration in deciding how you're going to trade growth stocks because whenever you're trading growth stocks and whenever there is a market correction, it's going to be brutal. Most of the growth stocks are down 50, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent, right? Uh, and this could have been avoided if you have a better understanding of how growth stocks work during corrections. And then proactively, you can take measures to avoid those kind of situation in the next bullish phase, whenever the next bullish market starts, right? So learn from what has happened and then change your tactics because if you want to be staying in this game long term, same thing is going to repeat. After some year, again, you're going to have a correction in which same thing is happening. So develop your notes, take down good notes, and make understanding of this correction as a foundation for building your trading to a next level of profitability where you can avoid periods like this. Try and think of developing your own tools for market uh, direction, like I have a market monitor. I have tools for developing, or other people like have different tools. You, uh, have so many traders today on Twitter who have different tools, right, to do this. So try and understand their tools, incorporate that, some of that into your trading and get ready so that next time if the same thing happens, you don't get caught because as a learning human being, our idea should be to make a mistake once, twice, but we don't make the mistake three times. If you're making the same mistake third time, uh, it's not a sign of growth, right? So that is another thing which you need to uh, really focus on, learning from the growth stocks, right? The other thing which you need to uh, really understand from this particular kind of a correction is that uh, the nature of 
down moves. Uh, the nature of down moves are much faster. Before you can realize, you can get into a much bigger losses than you anticipated. So your your ability to quickly get out of positions is important. And if you don't have that, then what happens is uh, many people might have closed their position today uh, because they couldn't hold on to their losses and then the market turned. So think about all these issues. Every correction I have like and studied and I made better decisions after that corrections. Everything is a learning experience. Again, if you get into a big bull market, you have to learn from it incorporate that learning and become a better trader. So this is a very good opportunity for many of you who have big drawdowns to relook at every element of your thinking, every element of your trading, build tools which will not get you into the same situation. And if you can do that, you'll find that trading becomes easier and much more predictable. And you can do this profitably with less drawdowns.